Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, the Phantom Fellows. All right. Well, um, I was kind of hoping Tara would be here, but uh, she is not. So let's go ahead and head back to the train. Just walk there. Okay. So we got the parts. I'm supposed to take them to a place that is definitely familiar, but I do not recall. So let's actually uh, chat a little bit. Uh, those engine parts. We need to fulfill our commitment to Pendleton. Get those engine parts. Oh, I thought we were bailing. No. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything there. What if I, uh, do that? Nope. Hmm. Was there something mentioned here? You know what? One other thing. Let's go back this way. <laughs> Sorry, felt a sneeze coming on. Um, there was... What was it? This place. It's the Sinner's Mine, an old coal mine turned gift shop and a log flume ride. Rumor has it the skeleton of its original owner is used as a prop during the ride. Oliver started the rumor. Alright. Great, now my hand looks and looks like it smells like wet metal. Focus, Cobblestone. No need to get in there tonight. That's fair. I don't really want to deal with Willy Gumdrops right now, anyway. No, you do not go in there on a mere whim. Going to Willy's is an event you prepare for. Eventually. Not this week, but eventually we will. Okay. So that's not it. I was thinking maybe we had heard that that was the, uh, the location. Oh man, it's a regular, kind of plain light. It's actually been a nice break from seeing these. I'm in the mood to talk about it. So what do you want to say? Oh man, it's regular, kind of plain light. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to you again. Um, what you got? Fool. Well, that hardly seems fair. I give you what I find. Nothing. That's what. Engelbert's observations. Rubs hands together as if to indicate he's hungry and looking, for, looking at hot meal. What you got for me? Do not look at me like I am a golden brown cartoon turkey that is wearing poultry fr frills on my feet while being basted in butter. Now what I observed was a stain on Gertrude's lap. It is said that our ethereal clothing reflects how we were presented in the end. So she died clumsily, like I was voted most likely to. No, she potentially died with a whole lot of alcohol spilled on her. Now, I am not entirely sure if the clothing thing is true, because, you know, ghosts. Always trying to hide something. How'd you die? Anyway, I do hope you enjoy my entry into the evidence box. Now, do you need me to finish spelling this out for you, or...? We're investigating something dubbed a disaster, so maybe the sloppy drunk was behind it. Good, on with the show. Advice? 
How should we approach this with the notebook? Write down any items that seem like evidence, so we can talk to them about it. Then, if we notice any connections between what we have gathered, we can bring it to the spirit's attention. Okay, so talk to them about it, and then if there's more than one item relegated, related to the uh, ghost we're talking to, signal to you to bring up both items. Exactly. Start with one item at a time, and then if we see a match, bring up both of them after. Alright, I'll signal that to you uh, like how I did with our names on questions last round. Okay. Well, we didn't get to use the Peterhead screwdriver for the parts, but I think I can still enjoy retirement as my... Uh, I th but I think it, c it can still enjoy retirement as my backup ice pick. Was there always too many different types of screwdriver? There's even more. You haven't seen the, uh, the hex head or uh, the torque screwdrivers. Hmm, no, and you accidentally raise an interesting point. Remind me later that we should show Pendleton the Phillips head, just to satisfy a curiosity of mine. Oh, okay. Beat it. Scram, see? Okay. Well, the, uh, showing the uh, screwdriver could be something worthwhile. Hope. And just preemptively note, I'm not sure I have a lot of try in me for this. But I need to ship these parts locally. Do you think I could have that box if you're done with it? I got you. Night owls have to stick together. I didn't know that. Actually, I'll do you one better. Let me make a quick call on my car phone. Wait, you have a car phone? You're not in your car. Y you might want to stand back. Okay, the courier will be here to get the package in a few. The courier? Like the bag? Exactly. Ugh, I love a good satchel. They'll have the package delivered by morning, and I'll have them bill my account for now. I'm doing very little to make this happen, and I love it. Thanks, Hope. Of course. Now just do so little that you're reduced down to a state of pure waiting on someone. Okay, so we're all set then? Uh-huh. Well, thanks for coming out? Yup. I just didn't expect so much guilt with the service. <clears throat> thanks for using literally overnight delivery. Have a better night than I will now. Oof. It's lingering. I'm gonna walk that off. Alright, well, at least we got those uh, parts shipped. Thanks, Hope. Hope is awesome. Not Tara. Awesome. But, real close. Real close. I could have taken the car, but, you know, we needed to walk it off. All right, so let's go ahead and show the uh, the Phillips head screwdriver, just for uh, curiosity's sake. It feels nice against my skin, right? I need to. I wish there was. I, I do wish that there was an option to like have uh, both walk at the same time to a place. I mean, it will automatically uh, do some things on occasion, but still. It would be nice. Need me to get any more parts? I could stab them off with this, I don't know, round head screwdriver. No thank you, and that's called a Phillips head screwdriver. Peter head screwdriver. By Jove, he shouldn't have got it. Mm-hmm. So he's showing that he's aware he's dead, I think. Uh, as we've su suspected. So 
So we still, like, I feel like there's definitely some things missing here. I feel like bringing this up actually makes the uh, room a little bit brighter. It's going to take it back, isn't it? I thought there would be a way to turn on the uh, the lights, but maybe not. Did I not talk about photograph? Gertrude, who would you say this is? Are you attempting to question my sobriety or the, my vision, Mr. P Pickle Dix? Whoa. Hey, easy now. Jeez, and the seaward too. Are you both done? My point was, that is very clearly Pendleton, and my question remains, why do you bore me with this rhetorical nonsense? Because based on the handwriting on the rear of the photo, this man appears to be self-identified as Thurston. Oh. I feel like I'm missing some... Hmm... Okay, so that exits back out here. All right. What if we talk to you some more? No. Well, hold on. So yeah, we got the photograph, but there should be something else. We definitely talked about that. Did we ask about this one? Maybe not. Maybe I forgot to... Oh, no, no. That was just a... Uh Alright. I want to be careful about exit. Now I'm not getting exit. Okay, I get exit with a hand. That's interesting. Asked about all of these things. I 
There you go, bud. Just so you have the option. Thank you, Oliver. Please, call me Ollie. You know I refuse. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. No, I prefer my maps pressed up against a horse's mane, lost in Yosemite. Interesting. Even if it is a natural soundproofing material that thermal insulates so well, it was used to protect space shuttles during re-entry. Was, uh... I'm not going to touch the cork. No. Alright, um... Hmm. He looks fiery, like if you upset him, he would... Enter into an Irish boxing pose while provoking you to put him up, put him up. Definitely feel like I'm missing something. I mean, obviously I'm missing something. But like the fact that there's an there's that those those blanks on the evidence page, that's what kind of makes me think that there is something definitely missing. All right, well, I guess we somehow need to talk to uh, Pendleton and let him know that we shipped the, uh, the stuff. But it's not on there. Maybe if I use that? Hmm. Our time together has passed. Advice? through that again. Alright. I like the jokes, but sometimes uh, when you're when you're doing some of these uh, a second time, I would kind of like to skip the jokes. Just get right down to the, uh, the details in case you'd forgotten it kind of thing. But I can also understand that that would take more. Uh, programming and stuff like that, which uh, may not be necessary. Um, let's see. Looking to see if there's anything that I am, uh, I have forgotten about this. The pocket watch. So the pocket watch has 17 jewels, and if I douse it in perfume, I can probably still pawn it. Also, is 17 jewels good? I don't feel like I have enough context to, to do anything with this information. That is fair. As for myself, I was not particularly interested in the watches then, so I recall very little about them now. It was a very well articulated, I don't know. Indeed it was. Fine. To the best of my recollection, and at the time, 17 jewels would have put its value above the average pedestrian pocket watch. I would hope so. Like milking a cactus. First, great, thank you, that's actually helpful. B, or maybe second, getting useful information from you, considering it's in there. It's like milking a camel. It's like milking something ridiculous, but possible. Are you a bad boy? Is this what it's like? Because I hate, I hate you, but also, you know, please don't leave me. did do that, but it didn't seem to go anywhere other than clearly show that uh, um, Pendleton do is aware of uh, the screwdriver. Alright. I might have to just like go around clicking on things until I figure something out. For now, we'll call it an episode, because I am definitely missing something, and I need to figure out what I am missing. 
See you next time, everyone.